In other news. In other news. Nolan Bushnell is going to have a movie made about him. I don't know if you guys saw this. Uh, yes. Originally reported on Variety, but uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is set to play Nolan Bushnell. Such a uh, nice is that, young man. Is that for sure like he signed? It's like, like his production company oh, wow, okay. is producing it's not it. one of those like yeah. he's rumored to play and then six months later they cast somebody. No, it's okay. like he, there's, a, there's uh, these two writers, uh, Brian Hecker and Craig Sherman, who uh, I haven't really done much before this, but I guess they... I guess uh, uh, Brian Hecker had some film showing at the Tribeca Film Festival that had some heat on it, uh, but they they approached Nolan Bushnell and said, "We want to make a movie about you." And uh, I guess there have been several attempts over the years to make a movie out of the kind of the beginnings of Atari, but uh, this one looks like it's actually going to go forward. Do, do we know Nolan Bushnell to have had a life interesting enough to warrant it's, this kind of thing? Atari's pretty interesting. Atari, yeah, that's the thing. Is is maybe. <laughs> Maybe his life might not be the 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 really cool part about it, but like reading everything about the early days at Atari when it was just like super crazy, and then people left to go form Activision and just like the Warner buyout and all the money that got started getting thrown around and all the pressure that came from that. Like, I, it, it, seems, it sounds like it could be a really interesting story to tell. It's like the Aviator with video games. Yeah, and crazy. And and the pitch is just being called Atari, so it's not necessarily the Nolan Bushnell story okay. as much as it is. He's just a, a primary player in it. Right. Yeah, yeah. It will be. <clears throat> it, it seems like it will. Well, obviously, it'll be focused on him if they're going to have Leonardo DiCaprio play him. He's not going to be a a supporting character <laughs> right, in that right, film. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know about the casting. I don't know if you've seen pictures of Nolan Bushnell. Yeah. Uh, I, I, don't I think a young, a young he, I think Leonardo DiCaprio could, could pull yeah. off a young Nolan. I don't Bush think now. he has enough facial hair. I think he could get. He'll have some by the time <laughs> they make. Leonardo. it. I'm saying like I don't think he has enough facial hair potential. Fake beards, just, just do. Yeah. Just All just good handsome. period pieces involve <laughs> fake beards. I can't. Of some kind. I can't imagine uh, Leonardo DiCaprio sitting in a hot tub smoking a pipe. That just uh, that that imagery just doesn't come to me. He's, I don't know. I just watched Blood Diamond like two days ago, uh-huh. and I could totally see him doing that. With a bad Australian accent. With a great Australian accent. Oi! No, he's not Australian. Blimey. That's the thing. He's not Australian. He's, he's from... Uh, South Africa. Yeah. Right? Oh, he's that's South right, right. Yeah. He is South Africa. So, it, yes, it is a bad Australian <laughs> accent. <laughs> On account of it's not an Australian accent. I, I'll say, I don't know if anybody agrees, but I think Leonardo is a, is a pretty good actor. Sure. I, 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 yeah. I think he, he sells me in, in his movies. Sure. And he's made pretty good movie choices. Oh, yeah. Past. I'm not, I'm not going to talk mess about Leo as an actor, but uh, I don't know. I yeah, the, the concept seems super weird to me. I don't. I don't know. It like, could be good. It could, it could be kind of interesting. I'm just but, waiting for the game. Yeah. 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 Atari the the, the movie, movie the, the game. game. Yes. The official game of the movie. It's just Kool Aid Man <laughs> for the 2600 with but Leonardo if, DiCaprio's face instead. If they release a game of the movie, they should just release it for the 2600. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. that would be a great like promotional item for movie press or something like that. If they just made a a game. That'd be Before awesome. The, like, made a twenty six hundred game that was just like yeah. I want I want to see some mock ups of the twenty six hundred Atari movie game art. <laughs> yeah, who here has a twenty six hundred at the ready? I have to, one to play of my that parents' house. Item I do. Yeah. Yeah. I have a I have a portable like one of those Ben Heckendorn portable twenty six hundreds. You also have mine. Uh, your do you have a portable my, one? My no, my twenty six hundred. Oh, your your regular. Yeah, I have. I have like. Yeah, I probably. Have, it's ready to go. I have about seven twenty six hundred. I think. So <laughs> Who's over there? Phil, Phil Harrison's over there now, right? At Atari. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, but that's Atari, dude. Yeah. Uh, well, but, they, but that's that's another interesting point is that they own the name Atari. So whether they can like call this Atari and like use that logo. Like I think there may be some question as to whether they need to get cooperation from current Atari to do that stuff. Hmm. But uh, there's also Midway, which is the other side of current Atari, even though they aren't using the brand. Do they still hold that stuff? Yeah, the Atari Games stuff is still Midway's, um, which is why they made that Rush game not too long ago, which was terrible. Because they still have all the, the, the Atari arcade IP. Okay. Um, so, you know, they could probably get it that way. That I think, actually, that that's more the... Oh, man, I... Yeah, this is something I've been dreading thinking about because I know it's something we have to solve on the site is kind of the, the, the history of Atari and how the company split out and all that stuff. But, like, who owns what? But it's like... We'll watch the movie, man. We'll yeah, maybe out. the movie will help. <laughs> God. We'll get the uh, DVD, the extended DVD with the timeline. See, that seems more interesting to me. Like, like if they put out this movie yeah. alongside like an extended DVD that was or just like you know like, a whole bunch of interviews of people that like, were there get, get Ken Burns in here yeah, like, yeah. Do, do like a six hour documentary on the history yeah. of Atari I think that would be 
way cooler. The only problem is, like, you know, there's all this talk about all these prototypes and all these games that never came to fruition, and just so much of that stuff got lost or thrown out and, and just isn't around anymore. Buried. I think there was a, I think I read there was a fair amount of debauchery in early Atari, too, right? Yeah, like it, it was, sounds like it was just like hot tubs in, and cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, especially being in the 70s, I mean, you know. Yeah, like guys programming games on acid or something like that. Like, <laughs> Have I you could, played some of those games? Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> The uh, is there an audience for this? You think you think this? I will, think so. I don't yeah. know. They, you know what? They made a movie, albeit a cable movie, about Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. So, right, yeah. there's got to be some desire for this. Yeah. I also want to know, like, who they're going to cast as these other early Atari folks. Right, but who are they? I don't. I couldn't name a single other person besides Nolan Bushnell. Pitfall anyway. Harry. Well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, like some of the, like all the people that are the early He's, Activision names, Eugene like Jarvis, Gary, Gary okay. Kitchen. No, Eugene Jarvis wasn't early Atari. Uh, uh, oh no, yeah, right. He was he was Midway stuff. Yeah, wasn't yeah. He? he was like Defender and all that stuff. Right. Um, but yeah, like uh, what, like Gary Kitchen and David Crane. Like I think they were all Atari people before they went and formed Activision. I hope they show some of the game development side too, just like dudes sitting around yeah. talking about. Like cranking out, like like E. T. needs to be a focal point in that, in that movie. <laughs> that's like the turning point. That's, that's right. Like the, that's probably like that's the when the, the excesses. That's like that's yeah, that's, that's the, the boogie nights. Yeah. Like now it's nineteen eighty. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's totally the end of Act Two yeah. in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> just a big 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 wide shot and of the landfill. Yeah. We got Spielberg. And then Woo! after that, it just becomes a really sobering look at yeah. and then at excess. Bottom. Yeah. The, yes. the problem is it doesn't really have a happy ending, though. It's not like they ever came back around. <laughs> no, it, it totally doesn't. Like, yeah. There's no, like, then we turned our left around. Now we're making the best music we've ever made before. Yeah, no, so that's it, like, so then the ends, video game market crashed. So, yeah, yeah. So, so it ends with them shipping the 7800. Yeah, and it, it, it ends with, no, that movie totally ends with Nintendo coming in and going, yeah, we have no, this that's, Famicom that's the thing. Last shot. Like, yeah, the last like, scene. what do you think? <laughs> and then going, nah. That's, that's <laughs> the last scene right there. And, <laughs> And just white text on black background, <laughs> epilogue. No, yeah. I want like uh, Nintendo went on to make billions of dollars. <laughs> I want like uh, Animal House, like you know, pictures of everybody. Right. <laughs> 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 Nolan Bushnell went on to form Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> and then made a whole bunch of horrible ideas yeah. regarding location-based entertainment. Exactly, that is. A I, I, well, okay, I would like oh, to see. I would like to see some uh, some Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> in there. I want yeah. to see him pitching that the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, we got a big animatronic yeah. rat. See, mouse. Oh, you gonna crawl up. around and be a ball pit. Man, it's gonna be sick. <laughs> what you say? Like a big, big rat. My kids love it. Shut up, Nolan. <laughs> All right, fine. Show me haunted house. Again. These Odyssey jerks keep coming by. <laughs> well, it definitely seems like there is some potential. Uh, although I, I guess the, my fear is that if they get too much into like the the nuts and bolts of like the game development, that they're just gonna get it all horribly wrong. Like I think the right. the overall drama is more interesting right. and easier to to kind of take some creative license with than than that real. I just ma- I imagine a lot of screaming, stuff. a lot of drugs, a lot of stuff being thrown around. Pizza time theater. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan Bushnell showing up drunk. So you think this is going to open the door for more video game actual movies? Like we can see a Mike Caps movie. <laughs> no, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Like, what else is as significant enough? Like ID, like there was that ID book or yeah. whatever. Like they yeah. could turn that into like Masters of Doom or whatever. They could turn. That I mean, into you need you need some kind of good like human drama in there to make yeah. it interesting. Well, there's yeah. got to be like uh, how about like a uh, the history of Iron Storm the movie. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. There's <laughs> some human drama John, for John that Romero ass. biopic. Yeah, I would watch a. Um, which one call it a Wonder Swan movie? Who's that guy? Uh, Gunpei. Yeah. Gunpei. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Drama. yeah. He had a storied career. But then, I mean, what is that movie? It's like Act One, dude. I made the Game Boy. Yeah. Or Act One, dude. I, made, I helped make Donkey Kong. Then I made the Game Boy. Then Act Two is, oh, we made the Virtual Boy. Then Act Three is, <laughs> I made the Wonder Swan, and then I got hit by a car. Like that's quote yeah. hit by a yeah, car. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> then it's, you have to buy into the conspiracy My to make that an interesting out. movie. Yeah. All right. Fine. Miniseries. TV. Two part. Okay. Yeah, two parter. I yeah. think I think Itagaki should just start working on his own biopic. There you go. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the only one himself. that can do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the Ninja, yeah, the Ninja the Gaiden games have been purely biographical. <laughs> they, they basically <laughs> detail Itagaki's <laughs> upbringing. Yeah, as a ninja uh, fighting demon. Yeah, Dead or Alive chronicles his years at boarding school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, I just imagine seeing that, and it just has all of those great 
like ironic moments like his first exposure to giant breasts. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just huge. I saw them and they were good. <laughs> you just see the slow mo shot of just like a woman running. <laughs> and his mom being like, Don't look at that. You can't touch that. Never. You'll turn to stone. And you go, Oh, that's. Yeah, that makes like, make sense now. <laughs> Carry on my wayward son is playing the whole time. I'm like, Oh, yeah. It all makes sense now. Well. What else? <laughs> what else? <laughs> Are you done with that? Yeah.